Stippling is a absolute classic. So what is stippling? Well, stippling is literally the act of taking your brush and poking a bunch of times at your miniature. It is literally creating many dots. And those many dots, if you do it appropriately, you can build up these layers and create natural gradients. Because paint is naturally transparent, as we discussed, then depending on how heavy your pressure is or how diluted your paint is, you can control that level of transparency, meaning that you have control in creating a gradient. As you build up a space and you're getting more and more opaque in certain areas and building up those highlights, you can, even though it's not like the smoothest gradient, as soon as you pull back away from it, you have created this gradient. And it's a fast, quick, relatively, straightforward technique to do. I'm gonna throw a couple of just real key little pieces here. If you can, it's rather best to not use your Kalinsky sable brushes on this particular thing. It's a great way of totally buggering the tip of your brush, um, especially if you do it a lot and it is a really kind of classic thing to do. If not, just be very careful with it. Just don't go hard jabbing at it, you know? It still will work, but you're likely to reduce that lifespan of it. And so I would say utilize a synthetic brush because you don't really care what happens to the tip. And as long as it holds a reasonable point, you can get away with it. Stippling is so much more than just like building little dots and creating a gradient. Um, stippling adds texture or it creates the sense of texture. It's the literal buildup of paint. And instead of doing it in flat brush strokes, which would be more like layering, we are building it by applying lots of little dots, but it could also just be lots of scratches. It could be cross hatching, for instance. It could be little lines in places. It could be blobs. It can be irregular pattern brushwork, which creates different types of textures for different things. And we want that sometimes because we don't want every element of our model to feel or look the same because there are different things that look different to each other. Leather will look different than say cloth and cloth will look different than metal. And we wanna create those distinctions. So the idea of stippling at its basic is just, yes, building up layers with dots, but it can be more than that. And it's such an important thing because really so many people do it naturally. It's just taking it into account and then exacting it or doing it on the model. And it doesn't have to be hyper smooth because stippling isn't super smooth. It's not like glazing. It's not like feathering and things like that or wet blending, but it does create a gradient as you build up those layers and it gives it that texture. And that's what's really nice about it. So you can find that you can use it in practically anything you want to do. It can be done on metals. It can be done on any surface you want. It can even be done on skin. And it just matters, it depends on how fine you are doing it. And of course, if you interlace it with other techniques like maybe feathering or even with glazing, then you can smoothen over those effects, making a more seamless transition. I wanted to show an example on this model, taking the idea of stippling and utilizing irregular brushed work, which allowed me to create different textures for different things to try and create the right feeling. So on this lady here, which I haven't quite finished, I must say, so sorry about that, is this scabbard here, which would hold the sword. And on it, on this leather part, I was using a lot of little sort of pokey marks and kind of like dots and stuff like that to try and create irregular pattern work to give the sensation that there are, um, that the leather was worn and aged and had just wear and tear to it. And so you take that and you're building up those colors. As well, if we look at the sort of the leather brawl piece that she has is built up utilizing irregular brushwork upon it just as so i'm changing as i'm building it up it creates the gradient which is what you're doing effectively with stippling but i'm adding more to it by not specifically saying oh it has to be a dot but also creating lines and building up all of that you can add more to it and make it what you want it to be which gives you a tool or a technique to work with to add to your models